yes good morning friends today we are learning about how to change parameters how to increase parameter value through transaction code rz10 okay first of all we see present values So these are print values. I have what 12 dialog processes and five background processes and four spool processes and three update. Now what I'll do, I'll make this 12 dialog process to 15 and this five background process to eight. How to do this? You can achieve this with the help of RZ10. Now we'll see how to do that. Go to RZ10. And here go to external maintenance. Okay. Now go to your instance profile. Okay. Now go to change. Now see the parameter where the parameter C. R this there is 12. Now we'll have to make to 15. Just select this parameter and this is the this is the old value now I have to change it to 15 okay now what I have to do I have to copy this see changes were made go back okay here now I can do 15 now again you have to copy see changes change profiles was transferred okay now what I'll do I'll change for BTC also. Value was five. I would like to make it to eight. Okay. Now again, you have to follow the same steps. Don't forget to copy. Eight, okay. Now, go back. You're able to see value 8 over here again you have to copy same thing from here okay the changes were transferred now what we have done we have changed parameter dialog 12 to 15 and background from 5 to 8 now what we have to do go back and save this when you save this the version immediately get changed because at present we're working version 11 now we made two changes it create a new version called 12 now see Do you want to activate the profile? You have to say yes. I want to. I would like to activate my profile. Okay. See, this is profile version 12 saved and activated. It is saved and activated. See, the effect of activating profile is simply that the profile is stored at operating system level. For the profile to be take effect on particular app server, we have to restart the application server. Now what we have to do? We have to start our application server. First of all, check whether value gets changed or not. Then we will change our application server also. Go to SM50 and see the processes. See, it's still 12 and 5 only because I have not start the application server. Once I start my application server, then effect will come to 15 and 8. Now I'll go and start my app server. Just open your MMC console, okay? Just select all tasks and stop. Say, I was down. 
okay it has to be completely down switch down completely stop this also yeah it's also stopped by default okay now what we need to do you need to start all things again take one or two minutes to start all processes just go and check process list once you confirm that your survey has been up and running then you can start a new end and check the new value Now see my SAP CPU has started. This is the first process which goes to start, then it will start database, then the server. See now this plus work and I just have started. But we need to confirm where the server is started, appending properly. Confirm that. See what it says running but not connected to message server. It has to show connected to message server. Just wait for one few minutes, few more minutes. So now it shows running my server connection okay. It means your server is up and running now. Now check your ABI processes. Here you come to know the system is running or not. Processes like at present you are at new status is new. Okay. Now it will come to run and wait phase. It, you have to wait till it comes to wait phase. See, now you're able to see wait face also. Now count on dialogues 1 to 14 means it's become 15 and background drops 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now check in server also. When check SM50. Now you see dialogues change to 12 to 15 and bank change to 5 to 8. Okay. This is what I would like to explain in this topic. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Thanks all.